Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica Jane. I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, Jessica, how do I get her to see me as a lover, not a friend? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked as always, because that's exactly what I'm going to talk to you about today and to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to hear how you can get out of that friend zone and add them in the fucking zone or another one of my videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button with that notification bell. Okay, so I'll tell you right now, a lot of men who end up in the friend zone don't even realize they were in the running for the pound town zone. In fact, all of you are. All of you. All of us women assume things are going to get romantic the second we have a good conversation with one another. We genuinely do. And we accept when it doesn't go there. We're like, cool. Okay, this is a friend. Or we're like, okay, this is a dude that I'm not attracted to, but he does shit for me. Okay, cool. But if you know you want to get to a place where we automatically follow your lead into wherever you want to go with us, just by you communicating just a bit differently and creating connections and chemistry with the women you want. Book your call with me right now, jessicajdating.com slash book. Talk about whether or not my 90-day coaching program is a fit for you to get exactly who and what you want. I can tell you how many of my clients end up coming to me in the friend zone with another woman or having only ended up in the friend zone their whole lives. And by the end of it, they don't even want that woman anymore because they've got so many other options or they're finally moving things forward in ways that feel comfortable and feel natural with women they truly want. So again, if you want to make this happen, for you as well. Book your call with me right now, jessicajdating.com slash book. Let's make it happen. Okay, so let's get right to it. There's three ways to get her to stop seeing you as a friend and as a lover. And the first one, a lot of you wouldn't even think about and a lot of my clients don't even realize they're doing it or that it's bad is you need to show up. That's not bad, but here's what I mean when I say you gotta show up. Most guy friends to women actually don't speak up for themselves. They just sit there and ask her questions about her day and let her talk about herself the entire fucking time. And then they become a fucking sounding board and nobody wants to fuck a sounding board. They'll make the entire interaction about her. And I have too many clients that think that this is the key to getting women attracted is by asking her all these fucking questions and being so curious about her life and not offering anything of themselves to the table. But I'm telling you right now, if you're not there, if you're not talking about yourself, how can we fucking know you? And then how can we feel attracted to you? We're not attracted to somebody who just gives us a jumping off point to keep doing this. There's nothing attractive about that. That person can be recyclable, replaceable, or both. Too many men only ask about her. And then the conversation becomes completely lopsided where she's now on this pedestal and you've lowered yourself down to making it all about her being the star of the show. When really, the both of you are the fucking stars of the movie. So yeah, show up, be present, be yourself. As in talk about yourself, talk about who you are, connect to what she's saying. Don't just ask more and more and more and more and more and more about her. Sure, we'll fucking talk if you keep asking us, but that does not a lover make. That's a good friend. Which then brings me to the second way to move things forward into the pound town zone from the friend zone is connecting statements. So for those of you who watched my 90 day training series where I talked about connecting statements and planting that seed of togetherness, you'll know that this is the only way to move things forward and how necessary it is in order for us to move from friend zone to fuck zone. Lula, sorry about that. Because if you and I are just trading information about ourselves, we'll eventually be like, okay, where the fuck is this going? And I've had plenty of girlfriends in my coaching sessions say that to clients like, okay, where's this going? And we women will feel that. We will feel that need to move things forward. And when you don't move things forward, we'll assume that this is where we end. So plant that seed of desire, plant that seed of togetherness and we will water it. But if you don't plant that seed, that baby won't grow. You get what I'm saying? Which then leads me to the last one, which is don't be afraid to want her. So many guys think they're gonna upset her or it's too forward if they plant that seed of of togetherness. But that seed of togetherness doesn't need to be romantic or sexual. It can be something as simple as, oh, we're so cute together. That's it. Look at us. We're so cute. That is still wanting her. Wanting her can be conveyed through connecting statements, saying things about your togetherness. And if you know this isn't jiving and you're not sure how to execute this and you're scared to lose out on the women you want, again, book your call with me right now. This is exactly what we train all our clients in over the course of 12 weeks is getting to this 
place where you are conveying that desire and want without it needing to be sexual or romantic where it is just you and if you're sexual and or romantic guy you can be that guy as well i had a client on a fucking call say that uh you know my girlfriend was like oh i'm aging so bad and he was like you're aging like a fine wine that i would love to taste and she was like i would let you and i was like oh my god but that's him that's his personality so he took it there but it doesn't even need to go there i had another client move things forward by saying oh we would absolutely fight about that i could tell right now there's nothing romantic, nothing sexual about that. They just disagreed about something, something trivial like food. And he's like, oh, we would absolutely fight about that. That is a connecting statement. So if you know you want to move things forward naturally with the women you want and you want to feel good about it, you want to feel comfortable and you want these women to want you back, book your call with me right now. Let's talk about making it happen with my 90-day coaching program, jessicajdating.com slash book. Make sure you guys show up, all right? Show up, move things forward, and don't be afraid to show her your dick. Hee <laughs> hee! Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.